Well, that was not very fun. <laughs> I'm only about 30, 40 minutes late, maybe more, uh, from where I wanted to be at this point. I wanted to be heading home and not heading to Sodfathers where I'm going for mushroom compost. Um, but anyhow, it is what it is. I, this is the second time in a couple of weeks my battery has died. So I think I'm going to be buying a battery this weekend. <clears throat> but anyhow, let's talk about Sodfathers. So they're located in Mims, Florida. And they do source their mushroom compost from another uh, source. So, like a mushroom farm, actually. Mushroom compost has so many goodies, including... I do believe there's uh, chicken or poultry uh, poo in there, and then uh, cal different calciums or something like that that help with blossom and rot. So it's real, it's super nutritious. My gardens have just grown better since adding mushroom compost to our routine every fall, sometimes every spring, uh, or sometimes I rotate gardens. It just depends on. If a crop's overwintering, just depends uh, and how long it's been since the last time I amended. So let's get some mushroom compost in this truck. Okay, so this wasn't the best start, <laughs> but everything is ending well. It's 10 o'clock, like a whole hour beyond when I wanted to be home and starting to unload. But I'm here nonetheless, and we have a beautiful truck full of mushroom compost, just one yard today. But he's like, ugh. It smells good to you. you guys there is a lot of footage missing on purpose because I'm a hot mess he was a hot mess he's also not feeling well and this is a hot mess the temperatures a hot mess you know we're expected like 80% chance of rain in in the next like two hours or less so we got the first most of the first yard of the of uh, mushroom compost down I am for right now, I'm happy to get this here. We'll rake it nice and level. Um, there's a little bit more on the back half than on the front half, but we kind of work in that kind of order or succession because um, we come, we travel in and out of here all the time. And the other option is to travel in here where Buddy's kind of walking. Um, and I still have a couple few peppers. The eggplants are exploding. I got to move these. So anyhow, I prefer that he just put it all to the back. If we have extra, we'll, we may even put it like this way, this direction. Over here, I still have yet to clean out a little bit of the truck. The, the tarp that I had on the bottom side 
the, the sides caved in and um, so some of the dirt es uh, compost escaped around the edges but that's normal and we also put a tarp down to catch any extra like that so I'm gonna go and get some water and then I'm gonna clean this up and then start uh, raking if the weather allows hey I'm back I'm getting cleaned up I took maybe like a 30 minute and micro nap and uh, I need to pick some peppers real quick for dinner uh. I am making chicken stir fry and what else am I putting in there oh here's another one two of them I tell you what these did not end up being giant cubanelles these are sort of like on a mini version, maybe because of the heat, but oh my gosh, they're delicious. Got a whole handful of them. What's going on? Oh, this is a bell pepper that stunted. Well, hello, Mr. Hawk. I, I think that's it for there. There's hot peppers back there. Oh my goodness, salsa garden. I'm definitely coming for you. Pretty soon, you're next on the docket. Oh my gosh, these weeds are driving me nuts. But as you can see, we've got these terrible storms coming in every day. Really, really bad storms. So anyhow, Buddy and I just went for our car ride and got my peppers. Onions are already in the house. I have uh, chicken thighs. And I guess we'll pair it with rice or a noodle and um, gonna make stir fry. We are not done here. We are done for today, but we're not done. <laughs> this, um, I had right here in this line, Let's see if I can find it, totally cut um, by something, I don't know, by what, tiller, mice, who, I, I have no idea what to attribute it to. But anywho, um, I will flatten all this out, no problem later. If you see something light in there, those are chicken eggshells that I cooked and spread. And then we'll just like, we'll just keep plugging away. Maybe my goal is hopefully to have one yard a week. So by the time we're into September really good, you know that um, I have... Well, maybe even by the time we start September, I hope to have this garden done and salsa started. And then just add it in little by little. I'll just still have to get some for up front and the flower beds and just everywhere, you know. Just seems like uh, everywhere needs a little bit of feeding and amending and so forth. Well, you guys, thank you. I'm sorry I was so sweaty earlier and I probably looked pretty gross. But anyhow, I'm kind of back. <laughs> well, we'll end the video well, and I won't scare you that way. So you guys, I hope that your gardens are starting and that you've got your planting going and that you're starting to put seeds in or transplants in. Oh, here comes the wind. <laughs> so you guys take care. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Ah.